My colleague Matt Walsh has proposed a very, very difficult challenge, which is to watch this stupid PSA of Hollywood liberals that's been going around talking about BLM and the riots and all sorts of social justice stuff and to see how long you can make it before the cringiness of the entire experience overwhelms you and threatens your life. So I'm going to take Matt up on this challenge. Let's begin. I take responsibility. I don't know who that person is. I do know who that guy is. I take responsibility. That's the Breaking Bad guy. I take don't know who that responsibility. is. Responsibility. I take don't responsibility. Don't know who that is. For every unchecked moment, for every time it was don't, easier don't to ignore is. than to call it out for what it was. Every not so funny joke. Is, is that Colin Farrell? Every unfair stereotype. Every blatant. I, I do know who she is. She's like Deborah Messing is the most liberal person ever. So who set this up? Is my first question. Don't know who that is. Don't, don't know who that is. That's so, the, the first thing that's striking me is I. Or turned. I don't back. recognize these people. I take Julianne Moore, I know. Black people are being slaughtered in the streets. It's not true. Killed in their own homes. These not true. These are our brothers and sisters. Our that friends. is true. Brothers and sisters Family. part is true, but the slaughter and, and the systemic thing, that's not true. Don't know they who that is. Wow. I, I'm actually kind of pleased watching this video because I realize that Hollywood celebrities don't have that much control anymore. Like, we, I don't recognize them. This guy I recognize, but I don't know his name. Stereotypes, no matter how big, or small. Obviously what they're saying is just the, the political points are just not true. I take responsibility.org. Like what is that organization? Should not be a death sentence. Sleeping in your own home should not be a death sentence. Yeah, they're not death sentences. Playing video games. Like statistics are pretty clear. Should not be a death sentence. Shopping in a store should not be a death sentence. Business as usual should not be life threatening. There's the music. Now it's the music. I'm gonna. I'm gritting my teeth. Hate. I'm getting through this. I stand against the thing hate. that's so. Oh, you stand. Wow, so brave. Hate. You stand. St wow, I thought you. Hate. I thought you were for hate. hate. I didn't realize, but you're against hate. That's courageous stand. And killer cops must be prosecuted. They are murderers. Okay, stop, stop. We this is it. This is it. This is actually the the most dispiriting part of it, because Aaron Paul is his name, the guy from Breaking Bad. He's usually a. Uh, he's a pretty good actor, as far as I can tell. This performance, not very convincing. The, the melodrama, and you know why. It's because when you, when you act, you're supposed to behave truthfully in imaginary circumstances. These circumstances are just so ridiculous. They're trying to pass the imaginary circumstances off as true. This, this idea that, you know, there's, there's this white supremacy that's slaughtering innocent black Americans all over America just isn't the case. So they're, they're tilting at windmills, right? They're, they're just going after this allegedly widespread Ku Klux Klan running the country that just, that just doesn't exist. But I guess the silver lining in this storm cloud of cringiness is what influence do they have? They're now just the objects of ridicule. How long did I make it in that video? Uh, did I, I made it like two, two minutes. Did I, was it two minutes or one minute? One for, 148 is pretty good. I beat Matt. I want to see how long you can make it. Use the hashtag Walsh challenge. Let's see if you can go as far as I did.